you find your wheel isn't running true, it's quite straightforward to make a basic adjustment uh, using some simple tools. You'll need some spoke nipple adjustment tools. Now this is a, a three-way, the varying sizes, or there's a single tool which in this case will fit the Shimano spoke nipples. You also need to be able to identify the point which is rubbing. Uh, you can use your brake blocks for this or in this case I'm using a hanger alignment adjustment tool which is quite useful. It's got this pointer which adjusts to the rim so I'll use that as a reference. Now if you move the wheel you can hear a point which is rubbing. Now if I do it very slowly you can see it starts there and finishes here. Now on this side there's two spokes and there's three on the other side. Now it's always best to do the adjustment in sections not individual spokes so if I want to move the wheel that way I need to loosen these two and then tighten these three and that will just keep that section in balance. You only need to make a very very tiny adjustment I'm not going to do more than a quarter of a turn, probably less, because it's only marginally out. See how I get on. Now when you're making adjustments, to tighten you sometimes think, well, I'll go clockwise because that tightens, but it doesn't. It's inverse to what you think. If you imagine the spoke as a, a bolt and the spoke nipple as a nut, if you went clockwise, you're actually loosening the spoke. By tightening you're drawing this rim closer. So you need to go anti-clockwise to tighten. Okay just to double check the area that's rubbing. So it's these two which I'm going to loosen which will make the wheel go that way and then I'll slightly tighten these. So to loosen I go clockwise and then I'm going to tighten these three very very slightly. So go anti-clockwise. See what that's like. Now on my first pass it was still rubbing and uh, so I've decided just to uh, make another pass but very very finely this time. Again I want the wheel to go that way so I've loosened these two spokes and then to keep it as a section I've tightened these three which will have the effect of moving the wheel slightly that way. Now. I've made that adjustment and you can hear that's not touching at all now. So I'm just going to move to a different section of the wheel. There. We have a, a bit of a rub from the valve to about the end of this logo here. So again I want the wheel to go that way. So I'll be tightening one, two, three, four spokes on this side and loosening these ones very slightly. Right, to loosen I go clockwise loosen clockwise loosen clockwise very slightly loosen and then anti-clockwise to tighten 
empty spokes on the other side. Absolute nuts on this one. Try that. Yep. Just two tiny, tiny little points. Maybe just there. So I want it to go that way. So I go clockwise to loosen. This one here, clockwise to loosen. This is just an absolute tiny adjustment. We'll probably tighten these two either side of it, so to tighten a go anti clockwise, a tiny bit there, tiny, tiny bit there. Now that's done, just going to spin the wheel, and uh, it sounds it sounds good. All done.